don't care. Valentine's Day is a stupid made up Hallmark holiday. I treat my girl like a queen every day of the year and she would agree with that. And she treats you like one. That's not that <laughs> true, is it? <laughs> Welcome once again to the Rural Jur Brewery Tour. Well said. Thanks. I'm Jay. I'm Seth. And you remember back in December, the cold, dark days of 2020, and we did an episode on dessert beers, and it was god-awful. Terrible beers. Until... Until the last one. There was a great one. There was one. The Salted Caramel from Waterloo Brewing. I do remember that. That was amazing. It was like a revelation. The other three were garbage. Absolute garbage. Well, at that time, we put out a call and asked people if they would recommend some dessert beers for us to try that they knew were good. Yes. And nobody said a word. <laughs> so these dessert beers. Mm -hmm. Really, there's not a category out there no, called well, dessert beers. Well, no, like on this periodic table of beers behind us at McDonald's. Yeah, this is not chemistry. These no. are not no, no, no. no elements. No, these are the elements, the periodic table of beer that McDonald's has up. And so, yeah, there's, you're right. There's nowhere on here that is a dessert beer. Right. It falls into the category of stout or amber yeah. or something like that. Absolutely. There's all kinds of them, right? Lagers, German ales, American special, smoked beers, Scottish ales, brown Yeah, ales. it's a subcategory. <clears throat> Absolutely. So we're going back to Waterloo Brewing because they have a beer that doesn't sound like a dessert. It's called a maple spiced pecan old ale. However... If you read on the side, it says there may never be a beer more Canadian than this one. Go, hoser. A maple flavored brew with the aroma of pumpkin and notes of classic Canadian butter tart. Mm. We got a butter tart beer. I like that. I love butter tarts. Haven't had one in years. They're so good. They are. They are. So let's crack this one open. Absolutely. Let's give it a shot. All right, so this, oh, look at all of the bubbles, and there's yeah. these micro suspensions in there. There's a lot of that. Yeah. Nice golden color. For sure. And Very a, little head on mine. Well, on was, yours, but mine was poured yeah. well, so wait a oh. minute, I poured them both. Oh, it's nothing but brown sugar. Oh, maple. Yeah. Oh, this is what I'm hoping for. Let's try this one out. Oh, that's good. Oh, there's some nice dark pastry tastes in there there's buttery oh wow it's buttery smooth and that maple is up at the top of the mouth and going through the nose you get oh. a little bit of the pecan in there or the, the you know nut. how sometimes you get a little bit of crystallization in a butter tart yes. that's the kind of flavor i'm getting that condensed maple flavor this is a sensual experience yes and when i had this before i had it on a pint of it and it was too much to drink as a pint I'm sure so it I'm is. very happy to be sh to be splitting this one because it's a beautiful beer. It's a, a really interesting beer, but I don't want to drink a couple of pints of this. Well, speak for yourself. I'm a little annoyed that I have to share this with mm. you. This is excellent. I'm okay. loving every minute of it. There is nothing wrong with this except that there's not more. Next up is the Viva La Stout from Sada City. This is really... This, have you tried this beer yet? This is an interesting one for sure. It tastes like Viva Puffs, which apparently is only in Canada. What's or a Viva Ontario? Puff? A Viva Puff is like marshmallow chocolate cookie wafer. Covered in chocolate, yeah. and it's got the cookie underneath, the marshmallow on top, and a little, little bit, bit of jam. jam. Yeah, right a little bit of raspberry jam. A little bit jam. of jam right in the middle. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> This is super black. Really dark. There is no light penetrating this one. No, there's no penetration at all. None whatsoever. <laughs> oh, you get lots of the raspberry, lots of the bread, the cookie. All chocolate, man. Chocolate, chocolate with ras too. raspberry right there on the top, yeah. chocolate underneath. I'm getting all the smells. I'm getting all of those. I'm all of the smells that you named on the, the can. The, not all of the, the smells. Not all of the smells. I'm getting all of the, like, not like, oh, all the feels. No, no, no. All the smells of the things that are on the can. You, not getting all the feels. What a shock. Ouch. Oh, did you feel that? In the subcockle region of my heart. Oh. 
lordy, 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 lordy. I love it when we get another one that's so excellent. Good. This that one so good. smells like the Viva Puff. Mm. This one tastes like the Viva Puff. You get that chocolatey feeling on yep. the tongue. You get that raspberry richness. I even get yep. a little bit of the cookie and that yep. marshmallow sweet light. Oh, perfect yep. representation of the Viva Puff. Yep. And a little bit of alcohol in there. Just a little bit. Yep. I, if it, For me, I would actually want it to be a tiny bit sweeter just to give a bit more of that marshmallow feel, but I'm happy that it isn't just for the drinkability of it. I actually will disagree completely on that uh, with you. I find that the bitterness at the end helps put this into perspective as a beer, <laughs> which is wonderful. Yes. Too much sweet and you get that cloying syrup. This yep. doesn't have it. This comes right up to the line and goes, no, I'm good. Yep. You're still a beer. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you have that. I agree. 100 percent As a drinkable beer, I want it exactly how it is. Yep. But if I were to say, because it doesn't say marshmallow on here. Doesn't so have to, man. I know, but what I'm saying is if it if it were to say marshmallow, the whole Viva Puff thing, I would want it a bit sweeter just to match that. But it doesn't say that. So I'm very happy with what it is. You know what it does say is bold and scrumptious. Hey, that was my nickname in college. Oh, damn it, you stepped on my joke! That was perfect! Ah. All right, I'll give it to you. Yeah, so, there is going to be some <laughs> penetration. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have two and a half hours to read you everything that is on this next can. This is longer than your dissertation. Don't I know it, buddy? I know. <laughs> so, and uh, this got a ten. The Chocolate Manifesto Triple Chocolate Milk Stout. Jesus Christ, that's a long name. Yeah, it's a real mouthful, as I hope this is. 10% <laughs> alcohol, extra strong beer. Yeah, Just you think a 10% alcohol, mm -hmm. extra strong beer? Mm -hmm. It has three kinds of chocolate. Forest garden, shade grown cocoa milk. Roasted whole cacao powder and chocolate mold. Anyway, so let's drink some beer. Yeah, can we? All right, look well, at this. That is dark. Once that again, is, pitch black. That is dark. Malty rich head on top. Wow, that's chocolatey. That is chocolatey. Mm-hmm. The chocolate manifesto. Right. Wow, there's sweet chocolate, there's bitter chocolate. You can get all of that in the nose, wow. I'm wondering Holy if Jesus. I should have written a manifesto <clears throat> instead of a dissertation. Maybe more people would have read it. Uh, yeah, probably, I might have. Well, God knows you're not going you to now. If you had written it on a can, I might have. <laughs> that was so good. So really we get chocolate syrup right up front, but also with a bit of a berry freshness, right at the front taste. And then it goes toward the back, little bitter finish in the throat, but also, I've got I've got chocolate frosting, is probably the dominant flavor for me. Chocolate frosting. Yeah, birthday cake frosting, the kind where you take a little on your finger and you hope that nobody notices <clears throat> that you stuck your finger in the cake. I don't do that. Oh. I have like you know boundaries. Self control. Um, yeah, we have that too. Yeah, that's not what your reputation says. Well, it's not what my shirt says. Indeed. And all of that alcohol is tempered by these sweet aromatic flavors that are of chocolate, and I'm telling you, <clears throat> I get a little red berry freshness in it. That kind of reminds me of like chocolate dipped cherries. So yeah, I can kind of get a little bit of that. Mm -hmm. It's I right think, up at the front of I the think, mouth. I think, I think for me, that is actually the, the boozy flavor. And so we get that booziness that's, that's sort of masked a little bit by the bitterness of the chocolate and by the sweetness. And so I, I think, to me, I think that flavor that you're tasting is actually the booze. Well, for you, that would indicate that the booze is the front of the flavor for me the booze is in the bitterness at the back. Now, the thing that we haven't talked about is just that it's a good stout. Oh, as well. it's outstanding. Like, out, it's, a... it's stout standing. It's portmanteau. Oh, it's no. where I elide two words. No. To... no, 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 I was... no one's going to like that. Uh, stout standing? No, no oh. one's going to like it. If you liked the word stout standing, please indicate in the comments nope. below. But you didn't. No, but please do. But you didn't. Well, it'll prove Seth wrong, and that's empowering for me and you and empowering he, you and he needs that i really do yeah. so little self-esteem so i could good. never be the kind of person who puts myself out there absolutely yeah that's how dessert beer is supposed to taste
Absolutely. That's how it's supposed to go. Sweet, flavorful, tastes like a dessert. Well, it tastes like what it says on the can. And like, sometimes that's all you need. Be you clear, be obvious, be honest. That's all I want. Are we talking about beers or relationships? I'm not sure anymore, but why don't you close us out so that we can move on and work on the other. Yeah. The relationship? Okay. Anyways, thanks for watching the Rural Jura Brewery Tour. I'm not saying anything about that. It was really well said, but I'm not going to say that. He doesn't deserve that kind of positive reinforcement at this point in our relationship. He knows when he does a good job. I've built him up that way all this time. I feel when you say things like that... that Validated, right? me feel... Hurt. We'll suck it up, Buttercup. I'm Jay. I'm Seth. And check us out next time when we try some more beers. Make sure you like and subscribe below. Like, really, make sure you like and subscribe below if you like what you saw. And even if you didn't like and subscribe anyways, we need the numbers. Uh, <laughs> please go to our website. There's always new content there appearing all week. And there's opportunities to check out what we do. Absolutely. The blog is up there and we're trying new beers and blogging all the time. There's ways where you can buy us a beer. That would be nice. It would be good. It would be really nice. Yeah. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Take care. And your personality. No, they don't see it. It's the opposite, actually. <laughs> I cut right to the best part and then you're like, I'm going to backpedal a little bit and just be a part of this. But yeah, that's how most sequels are. No, this sequel's better. I hope this sequel is better. Those other beers are garbage. It wouldn't be hard. I'd lick toilets that were better than those beers. <laughs> but we are not the kind that likes to get tanked. That's right. No, we're not. So, tanks a lot. That was stout standing. Fuck sakes. <laughs> <laughs>